Psalm 122, a personal favorite of, of mine and I'm, I'm sure many others out there. It's a great psalm that expresses our desire to worship God. And we're going to read a little bit right now and then we'll make some applications from this psalm. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem that is built as a city that is compact together to which the tribes go up, even the tribes of the Lord, an ordinance for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For the thrones were set for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will now say may peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. The psalm has two major points and it's two major stanzas. It opens up with an expression and an outpouring of praise and joy of the opportunity that the psalmist has to go up to the temple to worship God, to offer up sacrifices. And while we don't live underneath the covenant that David lived under, we can still sing this psalm today with the same meaning. Every time we have the opportunity to assemble as the Lord's people, to gather together as one person, to listen attentively to his law, to offer up thanks to his name, to commune with him at his table in the Lord's Supper, we too can sing, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. But the psalmist's second point, I believe, is especially applicable for us today. That because we have this great blessing of being able to go up or go to worship God, that we ought to be praying for the city in which we live or by further application, where we live. The psalmist says, I will pray for peace for Jerusalem. In the Old Testament, that's where the temple was. And so if Jerusalem was at peace, then all who would be able to come to Jerusalem could worship in peace. And so for, he says, may they prosper who love you. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will now say, may peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God. Christians, when we, we, we live in the world but we're not of the world, that doesn't mean we should be withdrawn from the world. We ought to be seeking the best for the world in which we live. That peace and prosperity would be upon our nations and our areas where we live so that we might live in peace and be able to worship God and serve him as he would have us to do. You know, this point is made in the New Testament in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, where Paul writes to Timothy, First of all, then, I urge that entreaties and prayers, petitions and thanksgivings be made on behalf of all men, for kings and all who are in authority, so we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. He further says, this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. As Christians, as image bearers of Christ, the world should, know, should be able to feel the love and mercy that Jesus had for us while we were yet still sinners. That we ought to seek the good and the welfare of where we live so that we might magnify God and so that more individuals would say, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Thank you for tuning in and uh, please check out our videos and have a great week.